video, I want to walk you through how to customize the checkout process, the order form, the thank you page of Go High Level. I really absolutely love Go High Level, and but a lot of people can find it a little bit tricky. So I want to walk you through the simplest way to customize and make your checkout pages amazing. If you love Go High Level or if you love systems, then I want you to make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I teach all things memberships, recurring revenue, and the systems and marketing that go behind those. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Not only that, I also have an amazing gift for you. We have a recurring revenue workbook. So those of you who are creating SaaS plans or recurring revenue, make sure you click and get the workbook. It is absolutely free and it'll be linked below this video. Let's dive in. I want to walk you through how to edit your order form inside of Go High Level or Coachera. Now, don't mind me, I've just come back from the gym, so ignore all of that. Um, but um, this is the time that I'm creating some content, so let's go. I'm actually creating a template for some of my clients, and so I wanted to edit this to show you exactly what I would do. So let me start from here. I'm going to remove this so, so that I can show you what I would do. So I'm going to click on this plus, and if I delete this, you can see that there's a ton of stuff you can get inside of Go High Level or Coachera. Now, if I click on order, we have a two-step order form, a one-step order form, or an order confirmation. And the order confirmation is quite interesting, so I really like that. I tend to use the uh, two-step order form. Oh, whoops, let me do that again. Give me a second. There, so we have two-step order form here. And then um, down here, I'm going to click on this plus, and I'm going to uh, put in an order confirmation. Here. So there's a few things to do. So if I click on the cog over here, now everything pops up to my right hand side. So I can see it's called a two-step order form. Now, if I wanted to change the branding, which you might want to change, I'd click on this color over here to change this big blue to whatever I wish it would be. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Okay, so let me go back to the cog. Let's get this back up. Here we go. So you can change the color, um, uh, the branding, change all of that. You can change the button size. Most of what you need, however, is right here on the advanced section. This is where things get really, really interesting. So you can see that over here it says shipping. Where should we ship it? Now, if you're doing something digital, then you don't need to um, add shipping. So you can just put in your, your info, right? And uh, subheadline. Where should we send it? Question mark. So I've, I've changed that not to confuse people here. Uh, company info. I just turn this off. So click on hide because if you don't need it, then you don't need it. Full name. Uh, that's needed. So leave that. Full name validation. Leave that on. Email address. We do need that. Phone number. It's completely up to you. I tend to leave this so you can hit the drop down and you can hide or show, but I tend to leave that um, for uh, phone number. Um, enter, enter uh, enable country picker. Um, it's completely up to you. If I turn this on, right, it enables people to be able to uh, pick their country, which is fine. Shipping, show shipping. We don't need to ship because this is a digital product. So I'm going to click on hide shipping. So now it has really condensed my, uh, my uh, form. So if I go back to show shipping over here, it means that you can leave that if you want to, because I think it's quite nice for when people buy something that, you know, you have some sort of address, especially if you're going to send them a gift. So it's completely up to you. If you are going to send them a gift, you can change the word shipping to address, right? Especially if you're collecting payments, you know, this is one of, you know, one of the great ways if you're collecting payment from somebody online, you know, it just makes more sense. So you can leave the shipping there, but change it to address. So they have a full address a state province, you can change all of that if you want to, zip or postal code. Um, so you can change this postal code, for example, if you are in the UK or in other parts of country that use postal code instead of zip code. And then the button says go to step two and that's fine. And you can leave all of that. The footer right here is completely fine. You can leave all of that. Now, here it says main product options. Enable cart mode, leave that on. Product description, if you turn this on, it enables you to add a product description. Pricing information, you can leave that on and that's fine. And here it says applicable for only recurring products. Please remember that now. Order bump. If you are going to have an order bump in your funnel, then you definitely want to turn this on. When you turn this on, you're going to have to click the plus button to select a product. Now, unfortunately, I haven't added a product yet, so I have nothing to select. Now, if you are going to have an order bump, the very first thing you want to do, or rather you can pause at this stage, go into the product set, uh, section and actually add a product. When you add a product, you come back 
and then you can select um, your product from the order bump and turn this on at a headline, at an OTO headline and order bump text over there. So I'm going to turn this off for now. Oh, you can add an image for your order bump as well, which is in this section over here. So order bump, very, very, very interesting. Now over here, it says enable by default. Now, if I turn this on, it means that the order bump will be enabled by default. So it means that somebody would have to untick in order to not pay for the order bump. Now, people have different rules about this. It depends on your feelings. I personally do not enable my order bump. On purpose because people can buy by accident or they can be confused and then you have a ton of refunds to do you know so I kind of prefer for people to tick to what the order bump. once you have done that you click on that save and then here it says coupon codes enable coupon codes you can leave that if you want to enable terms and conditions if you tick this then you've got to add your terms and conditions so that people can um, um, can read that and here it says sticky contact of course if you are using sticky contact meaning that if somebody has you know come from a previous page and their contact is going to be moved over right then you turn that on uh, new contact on every uh, new contact on every purchase. That means that, you know, you want a new contact on every purchase. You can turn that on. Validate disposable email. So this is where you validate their email. I actually haven't used this, to be honest with you. That's something that I am going to check out, however. And then, of course, here you have your visibility, whether it's, you know, desktop or mobile, um, etc. And so that is for the order form. So one of the reasons why I really do like this platform is that there are so many ways that you can customize this. And so that is the order form section. Now, if I go over here to the uh, order confirmation section and I click on the cog, we have a ton of customization as well. So I scroll right up so you can uh, keep it as order confirmation if you want to or change that. You can change all the colors and so on. But if I go to advanced over here, again, you can toggle on the order title or off. So if I click on hide, there we go. You can hide that or show. You can leave that there. Order title confirmation, select uh, item of, of product, uh, price. This is where you add in the price over here. And this is where you have the uh, total. You can toggle that on or off over here. You can show or hide that. I definitely leave that. Um, shipping, definitely you want to hide that because it's a digital product. So look how it's really condensed this. So it means that when somebody orders something or rather completes this, Everything shows up here, which is brilliant. And this is a good thing to have so that they are sure what they are buying and you don't have that many refunds. So that's really, really important. So the only thing really that I would change in this section for here is the order form. Oh, pardon me, is the shipping details. I would definitely hide that. Now, one of the questions that some people might have is, you know, how do I change this $99 to show a figure? It will dynamically change when people are using it in real time and it will change according to the price or the investment for the product in your order form section. So I hope you like this. If you love it, give me a thumbs up. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to this channel where I teach all things creating recurring income. And I love tech. And so if you love learning more about the tech and tools that, you know, tools of the trade and so on to running a business online, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the link below this video where you can grab our recurring revenue workbook. So if you are thinking about creating membership, subscriptions, recurring revenue of any kind, I have an amazing workbook, yours for free, uh, that walks you through exactly how to do that. So make sure you grab it below this video. And if you don't already have Go High Level and you'd like to give it a go, make sure you look below this video and use my link. You get a 30 day and free trial of Go High Level. And if you use my link, I send you a ton of gifts to really, really help you to get the most out of making money using Go High Level. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. And before you go, make sure you check out this video.